Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. It's pool play selection show time where we make sure that uh, the pools aren't rigged by randomly selecting them with the random wheel of pickerness. And you see it right in front of you. Look, this one's going to be a lot of fun. All right. We talk in all Florida about making pickleball an asset to the community. This is a phenomenal way to do it. You know, according to guys called us up to say, we want to do a fundraiser pickleball tournament because we love pickleball. We want to throw some twists and turns in there. Let's go. Uh, tunnels to Towers. If you don't know what they do, they help out first responders, veterans, uh, people affected by 9-11. They paid off people's houses. They they do a, a lot to make sure that those that serve us um, aren't forgotten about. Right. So the fundraisers for them, it's on behalf of Jesse Matson. And if you don't know the story of this, right, I definitely encourage you to look it up. Jesse made the ultimate sacrifice. He truly gave his life to protect others. Head-on collision uh, that killed both him and the person that was uh, going the wrong way down 275. So, you know, being able to do this on his behalf, his family is going to be there. And if you look, we got some great organizations, right? So bring your checkbook. If anybody still has that, bring it out. 50-50s are going to go to making sure we raise money for them. We've got some awesome raffle items, silent auction, full to do. You know, Tampa Test Kitchen is going to be out there serving up some good food uh, all day. Got all kinds of cool stuff. Hydration will be out there uh, for you starting at uh, around 10 a.m. There'll, there'll be some cool companies coming out, all right? You do have an 8 a.m. start time. Don't go out drinking too late tonight, all right? So here we go. You guys got a lot of teams, all right? You have 12 teams. So we're going to do three pools of four. You're going to play games of 15, win by two. And then the top two from each pool are going to come out into a little single elimination bracket. We will have a third place game for you guys that uh, love to have medals. This is the men's 4.0. So you're going to let it rip, all right? You're going to find out if you're really a 4.0 or if you should have played 3.5. But that'll be happening right next to you. So um, we're going to have a lot of fun. So what we do, bring your school supplies and everything to the check-in desk because you're probably not reading the banner that's showing there. Uh, bring all that stuff there. We'll take care of it. we got the staff there to be doing it. Uh, tunnels for towers. we got people out there that will be running scorecards. We'll go over everything right at 8 a.m. Uh, to make sure that you get started somewhat quick. If you've played in my events before, you know – I tend to be shy and not talk a lot at those to make us start on time, all right? So I have been doing some research on the 4.0 uh, teams, okay? I got to tell you, eh, eh, see some people in there, you haven't been playing, you've been on vacation, summertime, uh, you've been on that summer diet, right, of fast food, and well, you know, some of these teams in here have been training, so we're going to see what happens, all right? So what we do is we're going to pick pool number one right now and see what happens, okay? So we got pool number one, first team, pool number one, right out the gate. This thing takes forever. Oh, look at that. Chris and Dylon. A little ways for this one. Um, you know, they're, they've been excited. They talk a little trash. It's been cordial. They understand it's for a good cause, but they said we're taking home the title. Well, okay. All right. So we'll see what happens. Chris and Dylon, first team. All right. Here we go. Pool number one, team number two. Here it is. Taylor and Jack. Taylor and Jack. Oldies but goodies. All right. Taylor and Jack, I heard it from their elementary school teacher that they played pickleball in PE, took a break for decades, and now coming back onto the scene, ready to take the title. So Taylor and Jack are team number two in pool number one. All right. Team number three, pool number one. Let's see what we got. And it is Brian and John. Ryan and John, not to be confused with Ben Johns, 
Brian and John don't play anywhere close to the same as him, but they try and they make it look pretty. All right. I heard they bought matching uniforms. Who knows what these guys did? Okay. So that's team number three. All right. Let's round off pool number one right now. Here we go. Oh, Blake and Harold. Blake and Harold are in pool number one. Never met a phenomenal player named Blake. Just hasn't happened. Good luck to you, buddy. Maybe you prove me wrong here. All right, so that's pool number one. Let's go pool number two. Pool two, team one. Leading off this one is going to be... I like just staring at the camera here. Oh, oop, no. Alex and the Roman Empire. Alex and Roman. Oh, that's a terrible R. All right, Alex and Roman. Listen, great, fun people coming out to have a good time. I will tell you, Alex has been working on his drop shots. So get ready. He's going to try and grind out some points old school style as Alex. All right. So that's team number one. Team number two, pool number two, not to be confused with the number two that we do in the bathroom. But here we go. Oh, look at this. Brian and Robert. Brian and Robert coming out the gate. They've been talking strategy of pool play. They're not sure if they want to take number one in the pool or number two in the pool. We'll see what they decide because they said that last time with pool play, they got a little gassed. I was like, there was two games. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, games to 15. We'll see if they are a little bit of a uh, tankeritis out there, okay? Team number three, pool number two, here they come. All right? I'm doing good on my timing here. Seven minutes. Going to go over for sure. Please keep going because I don't want to pronounce that name. There we go. Craig and Andrew. Craig and Andrew. All right. Two common first names, two common pickleball games, all right? You're going to see a lot of action out there with Craig and Andrew, all right? Here we go. The last team of pool number two. Here it comes, baby. It is. Don't do it to me. There we go. All right. James and Riley. James and Riley. All right. The chirpiest team of the tournament right here looking to make an impact take home this inaugural medal they said the they're getting ready for the olympics are on they're getting ready to make an olympic run in this tournament okay so and look at that i did the math right too so pool number three all right here we go mario you better come out with a mustache like this mario and Aaron, and I feel bad because you probably heard A.A. Ron 875,000 times. That's going to be team number one. A Alan and I Iman. Don't know if I just hacked the heck out of that, but we'll see. All right, Michael and Austin traveling from out of state. Out of staters coming to take Florida titles. We don't let that happen, fellas. So if you're in pool number three, I expect to see some action. And Christopher and Hunter, Hunter, all right, the local hometown people coming right out. They might just, I heard they have like a fog machine for when they enter the court that they're trying to blow fog on the court. Not sure with the firefighters, we're going to allow that, but we'll see. All right, so that's pool number three. Fellas, looking to have a good time, looking to raise a crap ton of money for Tunnels to Towers on behalf of Jesse Matson. I thank you all for just playing in this and being a part of it. No matter what happens, we're doing good for the community. So uh, I thank you. I hope this was entertaining, and I will see you tomorrow.